Imagine gliding thousands of feet in the air, carried only by the wind and the aeronautic engineering of your aircraft. That's what glider pilots do every day. And reporter Ryan Blank found out Arizona has some of the best conditions to glide in the nation. We are ready to go. If you look up east of the Sierra Estrella Mountains, you may see the wings of a glider sailing effortlessly through the distant sky. You're resting up in the air and things are going by slowly and there's no sound. It's what you imagine as a kid would be like to fly as a bird. It's, it's just really terrific. The Estrella Sailport in Maricopa, Arizona is an outpost at the foundation of an evolving sport, glider aerobatics. The type of flying that most requires a really good fundamental piloting skill more than any other types of aviation. It's an interesting blend of physical control of the aircraft and of mental decision making. That's because the competing glider pilots have an aerobatic box in which to showcase their skills in a sequence, balancing their pilot skills in the natural environment. You want to have as much of the sequence as possible right in front of the judges. If you have a very strong wind, you're going to be coming into the aerobatic box and you may have to drive into the wind in order to have your first figure start in the right place so all the rest of the figures are in the right place. And nowhere will you see more accomplished pilots who ride the wind like at the U.S. National Aerobatic Championships held here this year. I've been fortunate enough to be able to do the competition flying for a long time. I think the competition really is about yourself and, and competing against yourself and improving your skills year after year. Competing here at the Australia Sailport is special for all the pilots as it is the birthplace of gliding aerobatics in the United States dating back to 1969. It's the place I, I love to compete at, and this is a great place for it because you can do glider aerobatics and all glider flying year-round. A panel of judges scores the pilot's sequence, similar to figure skating, scoring different maneuvers such as looping and rolling figures. We start as judges with the assumption that the figure is going to be perfect. So we start with 10, and then every time we see a mistake, we knock some points off. Uh, and there are all sorts of deductions for each of the various errors that you can make in a particular figure. So we deduct from 10 down to perhaps as low as, as zero. But maybe more important than the competition is a chance to show off the sport, something that's been a goal of owner Jason Stevens since his family purchased the sailport in 1987. That's really rewarding. Uh, I get to fly with lots of interesting people from all sorts of backgrounds and from all over the world. It's good that there's there's things like this that can bring people together. It's amazing. Um, you you want to see it grow because if it's growing, it's it's going to continue. You know, down the line, one of the the awful realizations or realities that we face as a pilot is that we're not always going to be able to do this. Helping to cultivate uh, the newer generations of aerobatic pilots ensures that this this amazing sport will continue in the future. With my feet firmly planted on the ground, in Maricopa, Ryan Blank, Cronkite News.